Hey children, good morning everyone. Today we shall start new chapter. The name of the chapter is chapter 11. Before that, I want to say one thing. That children, the attendance of class 8 is very poor. You are not attending your online classes regularly. I am requesting all of you to attend your classes regularly. Okay? Because if you are not attending your classes regularly, then you will not be able to understand any other. <laughs> any chapter will not be understood to you if you miss any of the classes. Okay? So, if you attend all the classes regularly, then you will your chapter. Okay? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Now, let us start the chapter. Force and pressure. Okay. Let us begin. Force. Uh, you want to you want to move a chair. What do you do? Then what do you do if you want to move a chair? We apply the force. See, suppose this box is there, I am holding the box, okay, I am holding the box, so it is there, and if I leave it, then it will come down, it will come down, okay, and suppose this is the box here, it is there, I am holding it, in this action, what I do? I am pushing the jaw. Pushing the jaw. I am pushing the jaw. Then pushing the jaw. Then the jaw move on its own. No, sir. No. No. If it moves on its own, then it will come down. Okay. Suppose you might have seen uh, magnet, magnet, attractor to move. Have you seen one? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Magnets yes. that attract up to us and iron keys by a force called magnetic force. Let me discuss that from the scale. So, if we, if we want to separate the iron keys from the magnet, what do we do? We pull it. We pull it. Suppose this is a magnet. This is a magnet box. And then, and I the catch. I catch. This is a iron piece. So, if you want to separate these iron piece from the map, we pull it. We pull these apart. Okay. So, what we are doing? We are either pushing or pulling. Similarly, if uh, the part, when you play cricket, when you play cricket, the ball, the ball throws ball towards batsman, towards batsman. Okay, and when the ball goes in the other direction, and the batsman hits the ball. That's why it's the ball. That ball goes in a different direction. Okay? So what do what does it do? The batsman has done something to the ball that ball changed in its direction of motion. Previously, suppose the ball is moving towards the bat. Now, after hitting the ball on the bat, the ball moves in a direction opposite to the direction. Uh, the direction in which the batsman has received the ball. Understood or not? Are you getting my point of Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, so, see. Yes, the sir. Ball is throwing the ball in a certain direction while the batsman hits the ball in a another direction. Okay. Similarly, a hockey player. A hockey 
player uh, flex the ball, hockey ball, hockey uh, flex the ball with the hockey. It changes the direction in order to uh, in order to take the ball into opponent's goal into opponent's goal. So the hockey player flex the ball. Okay, to learn. Okay. Similarly, when we play football, when we play football and we uh, when we kick the ball, when we kick the football, and the ball football is stopped by the keeper, stopped by a keeper. So keeper has to do certain action in order to stop the fast moving ball. In order to stop the fast moving ball. Okay. So the fielder which has kicked the ball, he has done something. What he has done is kick that means he has pushed the ball. Okay. On the other hand, this goalkeeper he has stopped the ball by coming in its path. By coming in its path. Okay, children. So with this okay, sir. Okay, sir. example, what we have come to know is that if we want to increase the result, if we want to increase if we want to suppose this is if this this is a this is if we want it to move then we have to push it we have to push it so it uh, it will start to move it will start to move okay so if we want a body at rest to move we have to either pull or push it. We have to either pull it or push it. Push it. The object which is at rest will come into motion. Will come into motion. Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so with this, we can understand that force is something which, uh, in science. Push or pull is called a force. Push or pull is called a force. Let us write it.
and there is some crowd in the market. So what do we do? What do we do children at that time? Yes, as well as we what we do at that time when we encounter many vehicles. We are having vehicles. Yes, sir. What do we do? Sir, what? When, when there is a problem in the market, so do we ride the car at the same speed when we are driving when there was when the road was clear? No. No, sir. No, sir. What do we do then? We uh, drive slowly. On the car. In order to drive slowly, what do we do? We slow down. Apply brake. Yeah, we apply brake. So applying the accelerator or the brake also increases or reduces the speed. Understand? And this is a kind of road. This is a kind of road. Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. What we need to say is that. It is the speed of a vehicle. The speed of a vehicle. Speed of a vehicle. Vehicle. Why? Why? The speed of a brake. Okay, sir. Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. Okay, very good. Now, this one. Fifth change. Fifth change is C. Well, we apply the word to something in the textbook. Okay. When I apply it, then it is older from it is older from Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay, yes, sir. Force can change the shape of the body. Force can change the shape of the body. You can see uh, at your home in the kitchen, your mother, when she prepares dough using a uh, wheat flour, what does she do? She applies her wrist and she kneads the flour. Have you seen ever? Have you ever seen? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. sir. So, needing sir. also changes the shape. And then when she, when she goes roti on the, what we can say, <laughs> on the flat, and she made roti. That time also, the shape of the object or the needed flow gets changed. Okay. So, what I mean to say is to change the Shape of an object. Okay, children. Okay, change the shape of an object. Shape of an object. Okay, any problem? No, sir. Please note down for that. Properties of force. Properties of force. Noted, sir. Noted, can you? Yes, sir. Next Sir, your voice is good. Can we expect force to come into picture when there is only a single body? When there is only a single body? 
can we expect that votes come into play when there is only a single vote or a single object? No, sir. See, children. Suppose it is there. It is given in your textbook also. Page number one twenty nine. You can see that forces are due to an interaction of two or more bodies. Properties of force. You are right here. Please put the heading. Properties of force. Properties of force. What is force? Sir, when we apply force on it, on it. No, no. I'm asking simply when the vehicle standing in the place and those standing uh, either in front of the vehicle or back of the vehicle and not touching the vehicle, will the vehicle move? No, sir. Sir, your no, sir. Sir, your voice is breaking. Yes, sir, your voice is too much breaking. Yeah, no, no, yes, sir. Am I on it? Yes, sir. See, when we do not touch the vehicle, we do not touch, we do not push the vehicle. Will the vehicle move? No, sir. No, sir. It will move. It will move only when we push it. When we push it, okay. So there are two bodies interacting. One is our body, and the other is the vehicle body. Okay. So. Force comes into play only and only when two bodies are interacting with one another. Okay. Yes, sir. Oh, this I know. First, the senses example here to become example. A vehicle moves only when, only when we push, we push it, push it It does not move. It does not move. On its own, on its own. Okay. Second, so you can see figure eleven point three a, eleven point three a. The two girls, they are, they are pushing each other. Can you see, sir? Can you see? Yes. 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 Sir. Yes. Sir. Yes. Sir. Yes. Sir. Pushing each other, so both of them they are interacting with each other. Okay. Similarly, in the figure eleven point three b, both of them they are pushing each other. They are pulling each other. And in eleven point three c, a person is pulling the cow, and the cow is pulling the person. Okay. Okay, sir. Then. Second, very important. Second example. Second is property that force is. It is very important. Force is anti-nuclear. Anti-nuclear. 
understood Yes, sir. sir, please wait two minutes. Okay, I Now, if suppose two forces act on the same body in opposite direction, what will be the result? What will be the result to them? Opposite direction. No, opposite direction to what will be the result? The net force will be F1 minus F1. Net force will be F1 minus F1. Yes, sir. Complete, sir. Thank you. 
Yes, sir, uh, understood. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Scalar quantity and vector quantity. 
Please submit your assignments in time. 